Right off the bat today, I want to say this is not going to be a gun video. It's also not going to be a humorous video, although some people would say none of my videos are humorous, but today I'm not even trying. Now, I do want to speak to gun people, but I also want to speak to anti-gun people and everyone in between. I want this message to get to as many people as possible. Now, in the gun debate in this country, there's one phrase you hear quite often from both sides. And it's mostly heard from the anti-gun side, but both sides use it. And that phrase is, do it for the children. Well, today I want to take a moment to ask you to actually do something for the children. What I want to ask you to do is if you have ever considered being a parent, adopt, become a parent, become a parent for a child that needs you so badly. Now, I'm not talking babies. No one needs to promote babies. Babies are in high demand. I'm talking about the thousands of four to 17 year olds in this country that have never known what it's like to have a family. Little boys and little girls that have never known what it's like to feel safe in their father's arms, never known what it's like to feel the unconditional love of a mother, never known the support of a family structure. But you can change that. If you have room in your home, you definitely have room in your heart. And you'd be surprised how much room you'll find in your life for a child. In fact, you might find yourself wondering what you ever did before you had children. How did you waste all your time? Because once you have them, you realize this is actually doing something that matters. Now, some horrible people will even go as far as to say, don't adopt kids from the system or something wrong with them. If there wasn't something wrong with them, they wouldn't be there. Well, that's total bullshit. For the vast majority of these kids, they're not there because there's something wrong with them. They're there because there was something wrong with their parents. The adults were the issue. Unfortunately, in today's foster care and group home system, people are paid more if these kids can be diagnosed with illnesses, ADHD, uh, post-traumatic stress syndrome, etc. If they can get them diagnosed, get them on medication, one, they're easier to deal with because they're medicated, and two, they get higher paychecks for having these kids every month. But the vast majority of these things are false, false diagnoses. They don't really exist. These kids are fine. Their problems are situational, not emotional. Trust me, I know from experience. I have two adopted children who were on tons of medication, were diagnosed with tons of illnesses when we got them. They had none of them. As soon as we took them to our regular doctors, our regular doctors were like, they don't need any of this stuff. We took them off their medications and within a short time, they were thriving. There was nothing wrong with them. They just didn't have the family support system they needed. They didn't have the love they needed. They didn't have the structure they needed. Once they had it, they succeeded beyond anyone's wildest imaginations. And I'll tell you, I never believed in love at first sight until I met my son, this little 11 year old boy that needed me so badly. From the moment I met him, I knew he had to be mine. I would do anything I had to do to make him my son. And then two months later, I found a little five year old boy to be his little brother, to be my second son. It's five years ago today that the adoption of the first was final. And I wanted to take this chance today to tell you, if you've ever wanted to be a parent, take the opportunity to think about adopting. There's so many kids that need you. And I don't care what race you are, what nationality you are, even if you're single. Kids don't need two parents, they just need love and structure, and one parent can provide that. There's lots of studies that show that kids do far better with one parent than with none, so one parent is better than nothing. And you know, I don't care who you are. If you wanna be a parent, think about adopting. Think about taking any one of these kids that needs you so badly. I don't care if you're conservative, liberal, pro-gun, anti-gun. One of the things that makes me so mad is when some people will say, I'd rather see a kid go without a family than they be raised by a conservative Christian or be raised by a pro-gun person. That just makes me want to punch him right in the mouth. Never should a kid be without a family. I would rather a child be raised by someone I disagree with politically or philosophically than I would see them be without the love and support of a family. Once that child's of age, they'll make their own decision about things like that. They'll make up their own mind how they feel. They'll become their own person. But when they're little, when they're young, they need a family. They need a mother or a father. They need someone to love them and support them. Now, some people will pull this whole, well, they're not really blood relatives, so you're not really their parents. That's garbage. No one's ever had the guts to say it to my face because I jacked their jaws. It doesn't take genetics to be a parent. It takes love and commitment. If you have that, you will be their real parents. And let's face it, my family tree's not so beautiful that it needs any more branches anyway. It probably needs pruning, so adoption's a great option for me. So like I said, on this five year anniversary of my first adoption, I just wanted to take a moment to tell you, if you've ever wanted to be a parent, or if you've been a parent already and you're thinking about doing it again, think about adopting, adopting from the system, these children that need you so much. Because if you do, like I said, it's no secret that they need you. But I think you might be really surprised after you found this child, you'll be surprised to find how much you needed them.